Yo, this is the Psychiatric Self Therapeutic Multimedia Project to solve the problems, challenges, and obstacles in our lives, as well as a self improvement process to reach the heights, goals, and ambitions that we have set for ourselves, as well as those around us. If you would like a brief introduction, a brief breakdown, or summary into the our project turned into domains of life, soap series, analogies, and so on and so forth, as well as the live stream schedule and the copyright free music and all that jazz. You can find that out in the previous live streams for the past three and a half years, straight up to January 2021 and beyond from updated versions. That being said, let's dive into the second segment, uh, second of 11 different segments broken, grouped up into three different phases across a 15 minute live stream. So, you know, a lot to take in, but it's not going to take too much of your time. Basically, two things before we get started okay the first is that sol 55 override meaning system override version 5.5 uh, again we can do a lot of restructuring um, the segments don't have to follow from each other I can move things around flexibly uh, so the structure may be a little bit um, dependent on what my goals are um, and the main rule is chiefly to break all rules so long as I meet the objectives that I've set out for myself what's the higher purpose uh, second thing I want to mention is the course uh, as a part of the second table of contents, that segment. I also have to mention that um, you can skip all this if you're watching this as a video ahead in the future just by moving two minutes into the live, into the video, whether you're on YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch, or whatever. So you can just fast forward and we'll get right into the content. With that being said, uh, this is mostly for me, so let's just begin. Uh, this is segment two. Um, let's start off with, I mean, phase two segment four and five um take a look at this collage what you see is what you get uh you see all this kind of food here home cooked stuff class two items you also see at the very bottom uh before snapshot which we're going to try to cover today we have some philosophical quotes um education that i've missed out on yesterday's live stream that's what you see as well i'm gonna now get rid of that and um show this another mass collage of everything once again of the food class to ate yesterday so it's gonna be some photography and so on and so forth let's first dive into um the audio recording so i just want to mention face at the laptop because right now i don't actually have anything to showcase on screen but basically there have been two recordings as usual um and just being able to see my own interactions in the way so things didn't go that well yesterday which is expected um overall i uh, my trust issues have led to a lot of issues at the workplace um, because of, you know, again, I have I didn't realize I had CPTSD and stuff like that. Um, I thought it was just, it's just me being, you know, doing what I had to do in order to um, make it out of my domestic guardians and the way that they would threaten me with, you know, danger and stuff like that. Growing all my life, I didn't realize I had hypervigilance and stuff like that. I thought that there was, I was aware of it. I didn't have the terms. I didn't see it as dysfunction. I saw it as I'm just doing what I have to do. And it, if I might as well do it to make me strong so that I can actually be of some positive uh, benefit to society. But it turns out that I really was just taking it way too far. So overall, that didn't play well. And I fell off with one of, a lot of my colleagues, basically one of the other ones today, uh, yesterday. And uh, that was very, that was kind of heart wrenching, but uh, you know, um, and this and some I'm starting to notice that there are rumors, uh, a lot of like gossip between my colleagues about me because it seems like I don't trust them, um, and I don't believe that they would trust me is basically how it works. And then so uh, the expression on my face, especially when I go around uh, all the personal issues from trying to treat, uh, be the psychiatrist and marriage counselor for my my biological mother father it just bled into the workplace unfortunately which is why i resigned a long time ago but uh again you know i'm still here now to this day uh waiting for that termination date that i've set um so it's too bad and uh, i just had to you know don't think too much don't read too much into it um as far as i'm concerned maybe he just had a bad day maybe they didn't talk to each other about anything i'm starting to catch notes of it but you know it could just be my hypervigilance um and so i should just overlook that and say you know what it's probably nothing you know or even if it is it's kind of just well what can i do about that anymore um nothing really much uh just to search up videos yesterday and so when it comes to segment four and five i should really be showcasing maybe at least on the laptop um or some screenshots of the i i, I just binged kind of just breezed through about 20 different videos 
on trust issues, how to repair trust and stuff like that, and what trust means and stuff like that. So this is all kind of very uh, new to me because, you know, interpersonal relationships. Um, and at the end of the day, that's how um, I kind of spent a lot of time yesterday and would be relevant to, I suppose, this segment four and five regarding relationships and audio recordings. Of course, the live stream itself today, as well as yesterday's live stream, that's also part of the Arnold Project too. So media assets segment four and five are done. Segment six, let's dive into media assets that I can show you visually here. But things I missed out, I'm gonna lower the music here. Stoic reflections, um, as usual, stoicism, I turned to that uh, for most of my life and I still do. I realized that stoicism and military philosophy and uh, rigorous kind of like disciplinary philosophy was actually just a part of my CPTSD. It was a solution that I sought out as a kid to be my own mother and father because my own mother, my own biological mother and father were, well, let's not talk about that, but basically they were kids. And so at the end of the day, I realized now that my hypervigilance is not doing many favors, so unfortunately, stoicism is not doing many favors. School of Life, London, rank and order of your importance for your career, creativity, money, social impact, stats, and colleagues. That went a bit of, uh, again, this stuff is not my copyright notice. This is the, the pages on Instagram. You can check that out there. Belongs to School of Life and Stoic, Stoic Reflections. But basically, over there, I would say it's a contender. You can move those around creativity, money, social impact. Uh, they kind of misspelled creativity, then they <laughs> day by day what you think and what you do is who you become uh, by Heraclitus. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, but uh, he's somebody that uh, I guess uh, is a stoic philosopher from way back in the day. Uh, hold on a second, I just pulled out the wrong photograph. <laughs> so, I mean, yes, you become what you do. Um, okay, moving on, um, which is important why I have to resolve these. Um, issues of mine these severe personal issues of mine hypervigilance chronic anxiety constant activation of the limbic system into fight flight fought or uh, fawn or freeze um it's not doing many favors we also have um here this is a photograph of something about how from uh, once again school of life okay school of life how basically um Broken kids who grow up into adults and decide to have further kids of the next generation. So broken kids lead to broken parents. And broken parents just feed the cycle and create more broken kids. So again, intergenerational thing. That's just kind of concept. We're pretty relevant, right? Okay, let's move on. Uh, it seems like we're done to digital assets. So let's move on to photography. So this is segment seven, as usual. Just covering the food class two items. You see carrots, chicken wings, and uh, thighs, um, some green onions, traditional Chinese cooking, stuff like that. And then we have next to it, this kind of like a leafy green vegetables, ch traditional Chinese stir fry with scrambled egg, that kind of stuff. And uh, once again, this is just me trying to showcase the stuff that I ate that I should not have uh, because it's class two items. I came back and someone was in the washroom taking a shower and uh i just kind of flipped because i was having a bad day in general because of you know again because that guy used to be my friend and i really you know i i've just been a jackass and i have nothing to say um i should apologize but he won't want to listen to my apology after this right trust is so fundamental if you don't have you don't trust each other there's no way you're going to sit down and try to communicate and be honest and open with each other so again this is why i i resigned because i see myself being this horrible um horrible ac accompli i basically am the source of all this mistrust because well well just passed on from my own domestic gardens and then from my grandparents right back in back in like third world countries and whatever but it doesn't excuse me being another cog in the wheel so that's why i'm trying to remove myself from the workplace anyways back on track let's move to phase three i mean phase i mean shit segment eight segment eight is the excel i mean i don't have to mention too much here basically i slept too late like three hours later than usual so i kind of went yesterday was a good day today is a bad day I mean, the day before yesterday was a good day. Yesterday was a bad day. Who knows what happens today, but uh, that's that. So, you know, fitness, dietetics, they use our metrics. Like I said, I didn't graph them yet, but the point is things are not doing that great. Um, and obviously updated the inventory of the food. Okay, so what's important now is, okay, let's move up. This phase three. So phase three, let's get up. This is region A, eight and A, nine. I just want to mention very briefly here. There is something I did do. I put uh, the bag of elastic bands and hairpins inside the uh, bubble wrap 
that contains the party picks. So it's all together now. On top of that, uh, we're supposed to cover in region A, uh, A, A, A9, uh, B3, uh, D1, and D4, and region G here, uh, G1. So materials relating groceries uh, as well as um, stuff that comes from my university day so let's just clear all that stuff immediately we have some crackers jalapeno flavored and then some espresso flavored cookies these are from once again uh last week's groceries i didn't cover them in any detail i should have i mean not in the, i don't need any detail but like basically it's part of this bag down here so we turn down here i said that i was supposed to move this over to d4 from b3 and clear it but in fact it was still too heavy and there's two main reasons why and um, I had moved the coconut water up there to region A5. Yeah, so but it wasn't it was still too heavy. So we have to clear more. Um, we have these two large kind of uh, Italian herb cookie crackers. So I'm just gonna move this over to region D1 here, right behind this kind of Purex thing. I'm so always recycle this, but I haven't been able to get to work on time early enough. Um, so that's that. I'm gonna leave the crackers there. Um, back down here for a second uh here's the main reason why we weren't able to put it away onto d4 is because the bread's supposed to go downstairs this kind of prebiotic uh Dempfmeyer's bread so german bread we as well go down here and we see even more stuff that's heavy on the inside it's this kind of marble um cake cake so these two things are heavy and they belong in the fridge downstairs and yet they're still upstairs so i have to bring this downstairs most likely when I get back from work tomorrow morning. Uh, next, we have inside here uh, this apple pie. So I may bring this to work today. No, actually, I have to bring some pastries over there for work. Get to that in a second. So the apple pie here, um, small apple pie. And in the that pocket's empty. This pocket is also empty. And finally, we have uh, some small stuff here. So let's just bring the whole thing. I would move it over there, but uh, no, it's still off stream. There's some pastries from Norman Sue. Uh, again, no frills. We have some mini samosas. Uh, we have also this kind of uh, aquacardi. So basically, once again, Indian snack foods and stuff like that. And then we have also this coconut bread. Uh, again, from Norman Sioux Bakery. That's also sold at no frills. So grocery items. Overall, you can see a lot of just kind of uh, short, small snack foods. Not healthy at all. And this plastic bag of bananas, which I finished all the bananas. I want to really get over with this. So here's the Times bag, like I said, University Days. Over here to the side, we want to mention briefly that this dentine knife, I'm going to leave it here because I'm going to bring it to work. Uh, or stuff it into the jacket, into my jacket. One of them's inside here. Dental floss. Um, move it over here. I might give this to my brother. Actually, I'll leave it up here. Uh, maybe, yeah. And then the last thing here, the paper i'm not exactly sure what i'm going to do with this yet again it's a souvenir item jeez uh i don't know yeah i don't know um okay most importantly though um over here we have shit a minute left i'm gonna move these two containers here inside so there's all these utensils here there's at least seven utensils like five spoons one from uh, spoons forks knives i can't get through all of it the most important thing is that inside this I really need to take out these two containers here. Okay, so Conestoga Rovers Associates and uh, Orientation University of Waterloo Mathematics Environment. So the University of Waterloo, I just walked around from Region D4 to Region G1 right here. And you can see in this crate is basically um, all the stuff that I am supposed to have here. Uh, this is the crate that's from over there, region C2 in a closet, right? Actually, I shouldn't have closed it like this. You can't see it up there. So that has all dentistry equipment as well as gift items related to it. And inside, if I take off the plastic wrap and stuff like that, it has two containers, like water bottles and stuff like that. Again, gift items from my dentist and so on and so forth. So, and as well as the hospital volunteer app. So I'm going to put these in here because it makes sense. So there's like four canisters of like, you know, water bottle stuff. That being said, I think that's a wrap for today. Uh, I'm going to say I'll bring this to to uh, dinner to work, and that's about it. I got to end this live stream. I'll continue this tomorrow morning. This is Aaron Sanyo. Ciao.